did I see that you were wor working on a movie? Are we allowed to talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Daily so, Wire movie? I mean, yes, yes. Um, so obviously everyone knows Gina Carano, right? Yes. Yes, okay. So Gina was an actress who was in the midst of a big TV show with Disney, um, The Mandalorian, and she subsequently was released from her contract because of, you know, not adhering to the wokeness that Hollywood demands uh, everyone exist in, and was invited to the Daily Wire to, um, you know, share her side of the story. And on the spot, they gave her, you know, uh, we want to offer you a, a movie that you can produce. And they had this wonderful production company that they had just also filled, finished distributing um, a film, Run, Hide, wait, what is it? Run, Hide, Seek, wait, Fire, Fight. No, Run, Hide, Fight. <laughs> and um, it did really well. It was a conservative film about a, a, a young girl in school with a school shooting. And she's been, you know, trained to, to save and help people and um so that was exciting because this this director dallas or this producer D dallas and director and their production company bonfire is excellent they make top tier films and so they all three got together and were like we're gonna change the way that movie making is made we're not going to make any content to shove some sort of narrative down anyone's throat we're just going to tell good stories with you know the villain the morals the values the grit the character developing and you know happily ever after so to speak and so i was watching um from afar with so much hope because when i spoke out last september against everything in hollywood and, and what was happening in america i really felt like that was the end obviously of my career but hoping that to another side of speaking out there would be an opportunity to create content again with people who just got it and so um i'd been speaking with dallas from bonfire for a while to find a project to be a part of and um i was so freaking grateful i have i have a very small role in this project but just to be on set with people who weren't acting like the world was ending in terms of like some virus you know or like you know there was no yeah. i didn't have to go get tested i didn't have to get a shot i didn't have to wear masks and and nobody was and, and pretty much everyone was saying um, let's go Brandon on set. And it, it was awesome. <laughs> and everyone on set had reached out to Dallas B from Bonfire a Legends a production company to say, hey, I've been in, you know, I've been in the makeup industry in Hollywood for 20, 40 plus years. Our, um, a, a award winning makeup artist is doing the makeup on it. And there's a lot of, you know, guts and gore and and whatnot because it's a it's, it's it's a pretty gnarly story but um and you know and so the project was uh filled with characters um filling the roles that you know create the project from everywhere from art department to sound to anything else people who were sick of hollywood and so it mm -hmm. was so cool because everybody wanted to be there and i wouldn't say that the conditions on set were luxurious by any means but it was so thrilling to be really like feeling the fight on so many levels like we were fighting against this way that hollywood has been um operating for decades now and also we were fighting to get, the, get this really great story done and feeling so good there was something very primal and satisfying about it um i felt so free i felt inspired and i hope that you know other actors and creators and and other people in their their subsequent industry that they feel like oh this is it for me if i speak out I hope they feel encouraged to speak out, take a stand, stand definitively in what they think is right in the in freedom, in the constitution, in, in America, and have faith that on the other end, there will be a whole other opportunity where they can exist in that realm and still get to do, you know, what God's gift was given to them to do.